hello beautiful people you're welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jay Bing if you're new here you're definitely welcome please do well to like subscribe and share to my returning subscribers thank you for always coming back i love you so guys we made shakwa soup so shakwa is abiscus flour and um, we used the green one not the regular red ones that you know we used the green one the dried one so the first step you take is you put it in hot water had your ishakwa then you had ashes to it so this way one of the reasons why we had ashes to it is it helps us to wash it very well so you have add ashes to it then you cover for a while say one hour we cover this in hot water for one hour so after that we washed it thoroughly then we pieces it so it's ready for use so another thing that you'd want to take into this as is that ishakpa you can see you can soak it overnight but because we were in the hurry we had to soak for one hour in hot water and the first thing you need to do is to eat up your oil then a major ingredient for cooking ishakpa is egusi so you uh fry your egusi in hot oil so a backstory to what brought about ishakpa soup was that while i was pregnant one of the soup i really wanted to eat was ishakpa and i told my mom that when she's coming from ikiti state she should bring it ishakpa is one of our soup in ikiti it is in a southwestern part of nigeria so by the time she came i had outgrown the feeling of <laughs> i want to eat ishakpa as in i was no longer feeling the vibe of i wanted to eat ishakpa but she brought it we kept it in the house and she was like uh -uh, this is your ishakpa that you said you wanted to eat i said i'm no longer interested but then i now said okay let's cook it so she said okay so this was all brought about the ishakpa cooking and the ishakpa soup guys so our um egusi has cooked this is the time where you had your pepper mix. So usually with Ishakwa, you use just pepper. We used just pepper, rudo. That was what we used. So you pour your rudo inside now. Rudo blend inside. This is my mom, grandma. <laughs> Thank you for always. So you pour your pepper, you had uh, okay she said we should add locust beans that to make it scent and guys it did really make it everywhere was just smelling you perceive that mm, someone is cooking a delicious local dish here mm. so after this she added um the pepper mix after adding the pepper mix you had your um meat stock so off camera we added our meat stock then after you had your um shakpa the shakpa has already been washed and it has been cleaned you tear it into like two or three pieces then you as you can see you see that the shakpa is a dried one we didn't use the the wet one we used the dried one so after this you add your seasoning and put the orishi rishi you want to put here we used um dried panla fish that was what we used for this so after adding your seasoning you had your uh, protein of choice you can use meats you can use fish you can use uh snails you can use anything of choice but we we decided that we were going to use panla that is egg fish so after this you cover for a bit for it to cook then you're done cooking your ishakpa soup and you enjoy with any swallow of choice so we we enjoyed hers with pound yam and it was really delicious i'm glad my mom cooked this so would you be trying this is this something you would eat and if you try it what would you be pairing with and this is the time where you have to subscribe please do well to subscribe to this channel it will help me grow a lot and i'll see you in my other video bye